The learning target here is given a polynomial function algebraically, determine zeros with multiplicities, intercepts, and the end behavior to be able to sketch this graph. So here's our polynomial, and first thing we want to do is find our x and y intercepts. So our x intercepts, that's when our, we'll find an x value when our y value is zero. So I'm going to plug that into our function. So zero is f of x, y and f of x are the same. And then I'm going to solve for now each factor that is shown here. Okay, so if I set x squared equal to zero, equal to zero, then x is going to be zero. So I have a point, an intercept of zero, zero. And then if I set x plus one equal to zero, then I'm going to have negative one when my y value is zero. And my last factor is x minus four set that one equal to zero, so x equals a positive four, when again y was zero. Let's change this over here. Now we want to find our y-intercept. So y-intercept is when zero will be plugged in for all of our x terms that we see, and we can figure out a y value. Let's make that a y there. I think that's pretty terrible. So now we have y in place of f of x, and I'm going to plug in a zero for every single term here but you can probably just notice right away that our front term, zero squared is zero, times one times negative four, which equals zero. So zero, zero is our y-intercept, which makes sense. Anytime we have an x-intercept, y-intercept will also be zero, zero. Okay, so now we want to determine the multiplicity of each of the zeros and whether the graph is going to cross or touch. So we're not going to be worried about our y-intercept. This is where we're now looking at our x's. So at 0, 0, that belongs to our x-squared term, which has a degree of 2, which is even. So at 0, 0, we're going to touch. And right away, I'm just going to go over to my graph. I'm going to plot 0, 0, and then I'm just going to put a little t there. Our next one is negative 1, 0. And here, there's only one term, one factor. So the degree is 1. That's odd. So we're going to cross. So there's negative 1, negative 2. So negative 1, 0. I'm going to cross. And the last one is a positive 4, 0. That's also just one factor. The degree is 1. So we're also going to cross because 1 is an odd number. And we're going to add a 4 there. So here's 4, 0. I'm going to cross. Now I want to graph my end behavior. So we've got to look at the degree of the entire polynomial. So we have a degree of 2 with this first term. We have the degree of 1 and 1. So total, the degree of the entire polynomial is a degree of 4, which is even, so that's going to make us go up and up. So now for my two endpoints, I know this is going to travel up, and this will also be going up. And I want to cross through the x-axis. I want to touch and turn, and then go down and cross through over at 4. And that is my completed graph by hand. All right, for number two, the learning target here is to form a polynomial function using the zeros. So now we are given everything. We just need to actually put that into function form. So we'll start with our function, and we'll start with if our x value equals 3, as we put it into a factor, it's x minus 3. And if the multiplicity is 5, then it's going to be raised to the fifth power to show it's got a degree of 5. And then we have 1 x equals 1, so as a factor, we have x minus 1 with a multiplicity of 1, so I don't even have to put an exponent. And then we have x equals 2, so as a factor, x minus 2, and the multiplicity is 3. And the degree should be 9, which should make sense. So we have 5, 1, so that's 6, 7, 8, 9. So we are good to go. So hopefully you guys are feeling very confident on this page. All right, I'm going to make a new video with our next sheet.